We have an ottoman, but we also needed a coffee table. So we made ourselves a waterfall ottoman table. Nope. No? A ottoman waterfall table? Yes. We made an ottoman waterfall table. A what? A fada ba da ba And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. This week, we're doing some more magic. We're going to turn an ottoman into a coffee table. Well, really, do you guys have any of those fabric ottomans? We got new sofas right before the holidays, which we needed really bad and we're super excited about. Except now, I have nowhere to put a drink. You have nothing. You can't, you can't put your drink on that ottoman. Well, you can. You just get yelled at. Oh, yeah. You're definitely going to get yelled at. <laughs> So, I know I've seen these ottoman waterfall tables, so that's what we're going to make for ourselves this week. And it's super easy. It it's really like, is. It's like one cut. We got two boards, and we're going to make one cut with some pocket holes. Magic! Step one! We're going to gather all of our materials. This project's super easy. We really just needed two pieces of a 16-inch project board by three foot. And we're going to cut one in half. And then some one and a quarter inch Craig jig screws or pocket hole screws, whatever. And I got this one by eight because I want to create or make one of the armrest tables. Garrett keeps ignoring me <laughs> that I want to add that to this project, but I went ahead and got the materials, so There's now a, it's happening. <laughs> it's a bonus project, baby. Bonus project. <laughs> I was ignoring it. Step two. Now we're going to add the accents. We're doing it up front gonna add some pizzazz <laughs> otherwise this project is too simple so we're going to take this down to the CNC machine and put a little design in there we're gonna carve a design in there so first we're gonna lay down some Oracle 631 yep and uh, this I'm using this mask so that we'll be able to carve it out in the wood and then paint it and then hopefully be able to peel the mask off and uh not have to do a whole lot of cleanup. And then stain it. Yeah, and then we'll stain it. We found a mountain-esque SVG on the internet. We downloaded that. Then we used our CNC machine to carve out the design on the top of the table. We use an X-Carve by Inventables. We imported that SVG into Easel, that's Inventables carving software. We used a 90 degree bit to carve it out. And we only went one 32nd inch deep because we wanted to keep that laser engraved look. This is what we got so far. All right, it didn't cut as clean as I thought it would. Um, I, we, had, we ended up having to use a bigger bit than I thought. So, otherwise it would have taken like six hours. And I'm impatient, so I made sure it got done in like an hour. Yes, well it might not be perfect to his standards. It really is super cool i think what it did and what it was able to do with each of these little lines it did some pretty intricate cuts so. it did it, it looks good just not as good as I, I would hoped looks good so we're gonna have to use i wanted to spray paint it but the vinyl didn't stay down well enough where we can actually spray paint it so now i'm gonna go with a little brush and put black paint acrylic paint in each of the little crevices and then we'll be back Now we're going to peel up the vinyl, see what we got. Well, show, show them what you got. Uh, we'll show you what we got. So you can see, I know it's all black, but we filled in everything that was carved out with black. And we're trying to just make a contrast with that stencil. So yeah, I still don't have a laser engraver. <laughs> so this was my other option to do some laser engraving. Or it looks like see laser engraving. See how many options you have? So many options. <laughs> That's what we got so far. We're gonna give it a sand with like a 120. All 
All right, that's what it's looking like after we got it all cleaned up. It looks great. It really does, it looks nice. Came out pretty good. Step three. Now we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're just gonna take this second project board downstairs and cut it in half. And then we're gonna take this one by eight that we're using as the bonus project armrest. And we're gonna cut this into thirds. Step four. Now we're gonna make a bunch of pocket holes. We're gonna make four on each side of the top and then four in each side of the arm piece. Step five. Now we're just gonna glue it and screw it together. So far, table. All right, let's do the armrest thing. There's the armrest piece. Step six. Now Kim is going to stain them Jacobian. <laughs> we didn't even rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> That's because Garrett's got to go pick up the kids. <laughs> Super easy, wasn't it? Leave me a comment down below if you thought it was easy. Leave me a comment if you're gonna make one. Leave a comment if you needed a sofa armrest too. <laughs> <laughs> hit that like button. Remember to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and hit that bell because we do this every week. And until next week, like uh, watch that video or maybe, uh, no, definitely watch this one. This one will keep you satisfied until next week. <laughs> that was weird. I don't care. I'll cut it off. Thanks. <laughs>